What's going on, little Dap? It's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. We help players improve. Subscribe to our free OSA newsletter to receive training videos, player spotlights, motivational quotes, and much more delivered to your email on Tuesdays. Today, we're learning how to play defensive center mid. DCM! DCM stands for Defensive Center Midfield. The defensive center midfielder typically is the midfielder of the two center mids that plays in the defensive role versus the attacking role. I love this position and played center mid growing up and as a pro. This OSA video is sponsored by Believe in It Apparel. Our mission is to inspire people that if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Shop at believeinitapparel.com and be a Believe in It athlete. There are many different parts when it comes to playing defensive center mid. This video will cover a few general ideas, things to think about, and an exercise to practice. First, the role of a DCM. In my opinion, a DCM should win their 50-50 battles in midfield, be a great passer, and occasionally make a special play in the attacking third. They are like the connect person between the defenders and the attackers. They should be on the ball a lot, keeping the ball moving to their teammates. DCMs are usually great leaders, too. When I say occasionally making special plays in the attacking third, what I mean is occasionally taking that shot from long distance, playing that killer pass, and making a late run into the box to get in on the end of a cross when the time is right. The DCM can't bomb forward every play because they need to keep shape in case the ball turns over. Versus the attacking center mid, for example, who has more freedom to get forward. A good mantra for a DCM could be, I win the midfield battles and connect my teammates by passing. Tip number one, know what is going on around you. Coaches always say, know what to do with the ball before you get it. But how do you know? You know by checking your shoulders regularly. When you look behind you, you're taking a mental picture of the field. You are looking for defenders, teammates, space, runs, etc. The best DCMs are the smartest. Work on your speed of play regularly by watching these OSA videos. Tip number two, do not try to play the perfect pass every time. Your job is to be the connect person between the defense and the attack by making passes. Mainly simple on the ground passes. Yes, sometimes you're gonna to need to switch the ball or hit a chip pass or hit a long ball over the top. That's fine. My point is when you see a pass, make it. Do not try to always find that perfect pass and doubt your first option. Tip number three, keep your shape. Try to stay in the central part of the field when in your defensive middle and attacking thirds. Typically, in your attacking third, you don't need to go much farther than the top of the 18. Yes, there will be a time when you need to make a late run in the box, but for the most part, you need to keep your shape in case there's a turnover. If the ball goes wide to your winger, don't go all the way wide to support them. Stay central. Tip number four, stand with your body open to the field. What I mean is, if your right winger has the ball, don't stand like this. Why not? Because now you can't see what's behind you and your body's in position to take a touch back in the direction that the ball came from. Instead, stand like this with your body open to the field going forward. This way, you can see the ball, what's up the field, and also your body is positioned to take a positive touch. If you have a defender on you, then your body is in position to be a shield between the ball and the defender. This gives you better balance, strength, and you are less likely to get knocked off the ball. Versus standing with your back to the field, and your stance will make you off balance if you get knocked from behind by a defender. Tip number five. You need to be good at defending. Watch our OSA defending videos here. Specifically, watch the video on how to defend an attacker when they are running at you. Tip number six, be a leader. Communicate on the field by saying man on and turn. Lead by example by setting the tone in midfield that you will work hard the full game. Encourage your teammates when they do a good job and also let them know it's okay when they make a mistake. Make the players around you better by being positive and you will be a better player. Tip number seven, attack when it's on. It won't be on every play, but when it's on, get involved in the attack. Make that late run into the box. Take that shot from 20 yards out. Play that killer pass over the top. Get an assist. Score a goal. 
be the hero. Don't attack every play, because remember, your job is to connect your teammates by passing. But on occasion, when it feels right, make something special happen. An exercise we can do to practice. This exercise is for ball distribution. It will help you work on your simple, clean passes to connect the defenders to the attackers. You will need a few balls, a partner, and five cones. Set the balls up at a cone where your right fullback is. Then have the right back pass you a ball. You angle your body to the field, check your shoulders to see what is coming, and then take a setup touch in the direction you want to go for your pass. You decide if you will pass it to your attacking center mid, outside winger, back to your center back, or chip it to your forward. You make the call. The cones are your imaginary teammates. Let's do a few, and that'll give you a better idea of how it works. Do a few sets and then change the start ball position. Put the balls at the center back position, the outside winger, the goalie, you change it up. For an advanced exercise, do the passes in one touch instead of two. You are working on game simulation, so come game time, you won't panic and just kick the ball. You'll be the connector and make your passes. If you don't have a partner, set up a bench and pass the ball off the bench and pretend that's your partner passing you the ball. Some things that could be going wrong. If you keep making bad passes and losing the ball in midfield, then you're not knowing what to do with the ball before you get it. Make sure you check your shoulder before every pass you receive and take a mental picture of the field. To work on speed of play, watch these OSA videos. The game is simple. Do what it shows you. If a defender is coming, pass the ball back. Don't turn into them. If you look behind you and you have space, then turn and go forward. It's not easy to make it look easy. Practice speed of play regularly. Bonus tip, think simple in the back, creative going forward. When you are in your defensive and middle third, keep it simple. Don't try to play that killer fancy pass in your defensive third. If you lose the ball there, then that increases the chances that your mistake will lead to a goal. Save your occasional creative passes for the attacking third. This way, if it's a bad pass, no big deal. Just get back on defense, react positive, and there will be less of a chance that your bad pass leads to a goal. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like and share this video with a friend who should see this. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. You can also sign up for free at onlinesocceracademy.com. We help players improve. Our free weekly OSA newsletter comes out every Tuesday. It features training videos, player spotlights, motivational quotes, and much more. If you want a Believe in It shirt, please shop at believeinitapparel.com. You'll love our soft and comfy shirts. Post a comment and let me know this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!